On occasion, we get calls from guys who want to know how to diagnose a potentially faulty VNet sensor. And the truth is there's three common scenarios. The first one is a flat line condition, which would be where a channel is reading data and then all of a sudden it stops, goes into a flat line or dead mode, and then at some point during your data recording comes back to life. Now, use the example of oil pressure. If you're in the water box and you're getting ready to do your burnout and oil pressure is at 45 pounds, but when you go to review your data log, the moment you whack the throttle, that thing goes to flat line and just sticks at 45 pounds, comes back again when you lift off the throttle, then you know that that is a flat line condition that is most commonly caused by RF interference, which means you've got a VNet cable that's too close to a plug wire or the coil or what have you. Now there is one other scenario that can cause that as well, and that's the termination caps and plugs that should go at the front and back end of your complete VNet harness. If they are plugged in incorrectly, you will also get a flatline condition. Now the other one that's common is a data channel is missing. So we'll use oil pressure again as the example and say it's just not there. If you had to have it assigned to be the green line, for example, and there is no green line, that channel is just gone, that's a pretty simple one to diagnose because it is typically the VNet module, which is this little blue box here. Now, if it's failed, nothing you do can solve that. But more common is the fact that you've plugged it in wrong, so check your connections. And the final one is erroneous data, which means you're getting data that just doesn't make sense. You know, it's 50 degrees out, but for some reason your engine says it's negative 261. Well, that's because a fluid temperature sensor that fails is most often going to go to negative 261 degrees if that sensor is failed or disconnected. Pressure sensors, on the other hand, will stick at a given value throughout the entire run file. That's if it fails or it's disconnected, so usually that's the problem. Now exhaust gas temperatures are a different beast. An EGT sensor will usually display ambient air temperature to 130 degrees if it is broken off and failed, but if the sensor and the probe are still intact, it will typically go to 20 degrees and say that that is your EGT. Now, if you have more questions on how to troubleshoot any of the sensor problems that you may have with your race pack, call the tech support line, 949-709-5555.